Okay, Mr. Herman's back this time with something a little different. This time we're going to look at an ISBN 13 number and calculate the check digit for that. This is going to be a little bit different than the past one we've done. You know the ISBN 10 starts off counting with uh, 9, 8, 7, 6, and so on going down this way. Actually, 10, sorry. It starts with a 10 first. This is totally different than the ISBN uh, 10 calculation. So in this one, we're going to take the algorithm for this works like this. We start multiplying every other digit by 1, then 3, 1, then 3. It's a lot like the UPC number, actually. So if you've done that or seen my other videos, it's a lot like that one. So we'll leave this alone. This is our check digit. We'll leave that one alone. And just start multiplying this one by 3 and then by 1, which really doesn't, doesn't do anything at all. It just leaves it. Then by 3 and then by 1 and so on. And just keep alternating as you go. Including these last these last three over here too. Then go ahead and find those products of those. So just multiply straight down. Nine times one is nine, and you're going to find the sum of these afterwards. So I'll put a plus sign in between. Nine times seven times three is twenty-one. And go ahead and figure these all out. And you can pause this any time if you want and check these afterward to see if you got them right. Plus sign there, sorry. And then from here now, uh, you'll go ahead and find the sum. So use your calculator to add them up, and you'll get a sum for that. And then that sum should be, again, I'll let you pause it if you want. The sum should be 127. So now, this is a mod 10 system, like, like the UPC number is actually, unlike the normal ISPN 10 system. So some people divide by something just to get a remainder, but I, I think it's easier with mod 10 just to figure out I have to add this to something, add something to this number to get the next highest multiple of 10, which is, in this case, 130. It's the next highest multiple. You go like 120, 130, 140, 150, and so on. You need a number less than 10, though. So in this case, you see the number would be 3. And I actually got this from this UPC number from this book, this Cinder book right here. And I know you can't see it underneath, but uh, well, maybe you can. It is there. There it is. Yeah, you can see it. The digit is the same number as I had there, and the di check digit is 3.